this is a multiple concept question on the uh, equilibrium and uh, friction okay let us try to understand and do the problem consider a 52 kg mountain climber shown below find the tension in the rope and the force that the mountain climber must exert with her feet on the vertical rock face to remain stationary Assume that the force is exerted parallel to her legs. Also, assume negligible force exerted by her arms. What is the minimum coefficient of friction between her shoes and the cliff? Here he is asking three things. One is the force exerted by the legs on the mountain and the tension force acting along the rope and the third one is the coefficient of static friction okay now let us try to understand the forces how they are acting okay then later we will do remaining things here the rope is making an angle of 31 degrees with the mountain okay so this is the 31 degrees and then here is the tension force so the tension force is acting at an angle 31 degrees okay now as the uh, tension force is making an angle, so we have to resolve the tension force into components, y component and x component. Here is the y component of the tension force and here is the x component of the tension force. Okay. And then here, this is the your Fg. That means the weight of the climber. Now, when coming to the legs, the legs are inclined at an angle of 15 degrees. Okay. And then the legs are applying a force on the mountain rock okay so this is the flx now this is the fly okay the same i am representing here is fly and as the legs are applying the force on the mountain rock the mountain rock in turn applies the normal force in the opposite direction this is the normal force so the x component of the leg force balances the normal force or the normal force balances the x component of the force legs applied along the x direction whatever it may be this flx is equal to fn that you should know so flx is equal to fn because i am going to use flx instead of fn because the both are equal so i am going to apply flx Okay, in the in solving the uh, equations. So this is the Fn. Okay, so Fn is equal to Flx. I am writing here. Okay, so that you need not get confused. So this is the force Fl. Okay, making an angle 15 degrees. Now this is the uh, nutshell. The forces are in nutshell. Okay, and here one more thing is the climber is in is stationary that means and the entire setup is in equilibrium okay static equilibrium now when the object is in static equilibrium all the forces are balanced okay so x direction forces we will write and then y direction forces we will write and then we will find out the required forces okay what are the forces acting along the x direction you have the tension force, x component of the tension force, and then the x component of the leg force. Okay, so in turn that is equal to normal force. So what I do is sigma f is equal to zero, sigma f is equal to ma. Okay, that is the uh, force equation. Okay, Newton's second law. Therefore, what I do is sigma fx is equal to, I will write, fn minus fn is in the positive x direction and then ftx is in the negative x direction so fn minus ftx is equal to zero okay but instead of fn i will write flx okay so flx is equal to ftx okay but what is flx flx is equal to fl here it is fl cos 15 adjacent side now so fl cos 15 is equal to 
ft this is the sign opposite side now ft sin 31 degrees therefore fl is equal to ft sin 31 divided by cos 15 okay that is equal to ft times the simplified value is 0 0.5332 okay now i will write the y component forces sigma fy is equal to what are the forces along the y direction fly and then fty acting upwards and then fg acting downwards so i will write fly plus fty minus fg is equal to zero because the object is in static equilibrium okay therefore fly plus ft is equal to fg now i will substitute the values fl is ft 0.5332 so ft uh, okay i do one thing f what is fly i will write fly is fl Mm, sin uh, sin 15 fl sin 15 plus fty is ft um cos 31 is equal to fg is mg so mg mg means uh, okay i will write mg okay next step i will uh, substitute the values fl is equal to ft so ft uh, 0.5332 times sin 15 is 0 0.2558 uh, plus ft and then cos 31 is 0 0.8571 and then m is 52 kilograms and then uh, G is 9.8. Okay, so this gives Ft is equal to this value is 509.6 newtons divided by um, 0.9951. So that is equal to 512.07 newtons. So this is the tension force. Now this is the tension force. Then FL is equal to, we will multiply. Okay, 512.07 times 0 0.5332. That is equal to, FL is equal to, what is the value? 273. 0, 0.3 newtons. Okay, now we will do the, uh, we will try to find out the uh, coefficient of static friction. To find the coefficient static friction, we have to write the force equation. What is the force equation? Here, FLY uh, minus F friction is equal to 0. That is the force equation. Am I right? FLY minus f friction is equal to zero now f friction is equal to you know f friction is equal to mu fn okay but fn is equal to flx therefore f friction is equal to mu fx flx okay so therefore f friction is equal to what is the value this is equal to flx is uh, your FL cos theta. So, F friction is equal to mu times FL cos 15 degrees. Okay. So, FLY is equal to what is FLY? FLY is FL sin theta. So, FL from here, FL sin 15 minus mu fl 
cos 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, fn sin 15 is equal to nu fl cos 15. Okay, so fl goes off and you are left with this one. So, mu is equal to mu static. Here I will write mu s. Okay. So that it will be clear for you. It is not the kinetic friction. So, mu s is equal to this one, sine 15 divided by cos 15. Cos 15. So, sine 15 by cos 15 is tan 15. So, mu s is equal to tan 15. Or mu s is equal to, what is the value of tan 15? 0 0.2679. 0 0.2679. Or mu s is equal to 0.268. This is the answer. So if you are able to understand the forces acting on the object, and then if you are able to uh, equate them correctly, then this problem is easy. Here, the legs are applying the force on the mountain in the negative x direction, and in turn, the mountain is applying the force in the positive x direction. That fo the force applied by the mountain is nothing but your normal force. And then the x component of the, because the legs are at an angle 15 degrees, the x component of the force ex uh, uh, exerted by the legs is your, uh, here in, in this direction. That balances the normal force. Okay, the x component of the um, leg force balances the normal force or normal, normal force balances the x component of the leg force. That in turn balances the tension, x component of the tension. Okay, so like this, if you are able to equate the forces, then it will be easy to solve this problem. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.